guys, it's Emily here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. I'm so excited to film this. I am going to be doing a La 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 unboxing video and kind of starting to show you how I'm going to be making my little photo album of last year's High School Leavers prom. So I am so excited to be doing this. I did a La La Lab unboxing video for these Polaroids here a couple months ago. Actually, I think it was last year and it is, it like blew up. It is the prob, I think it's the most viewed video on my channel. And I was just, I was like, I have to do another one. Um, everybody loved it. So I was like, I'm going to do another one. And I am literally so excited. Last time, these were the ones I ordered and I ordered some more as well from like, like a couple of prom photos and a couple of spare ones to go on my wall. I think I ordered like 50 last time, um, which is like a normal number. This time I ordered 211. So the package came in the post today. I am so excited to unbox it. I have been waiting for this for like a couple of days now and it was meant to come like between yesterday and Friday and I'm so glad it's come today because I don't think I could have waited any more. Um, and it comes in this really cute little envelope. It's got the La La Lab print on it. It's got like a camera, some Polaroids, a little present and an envelope. It's super duper cute. I can't wait to go. Let's get started. So inside this lovely envelope, which I have already torn the strip off of because I knew I couldn't do it with one hand, I have got, oh my God. Okay, so basically last time I got like one of these little envelopes inside. This time I have one two, three, four, five. This time I have five. These are all packed with my uh, Polaroid prints. Anonymous says your prints have arrived. So I'm gonna look for them and see which one is the like, the main one that has all the bits in. Ah, this one, right. So in this one, you see that little bit of paper? I think that should be the Thing as well so here we have the la la game so basically what you do with this one you scratch off this little gray square just here and then you enter it into the app into the la la game section and then we see if we've won a pro square here see if we've won anything this code is going to go into the app now. I'm going to pop it in and come back and see if I've won anything. So it turns out with that one, I won a free postcard. So it's really cute when you order, you get a little code for a freebie. See if you've won anything and you'll be able to make another order and use someone else's code and get five pounds worth of credits then. Like, it's a win-win situation. This is the reason I have 211 Polaroid print, print, prints. Basically, these are referral codes. If you place an order on La La Lab, you get a referral code. Mine is PGGBWH5L. And if someone uses your code, you get five credits and so do they. So that's five pounds off of, or yeah, five credits off of their order and five credits for you to spend when you next shop at La La Lab. This is absolutely amazing. It's really good if you want just a few of them. You can only, you like basically get just like a handful, like I think it's like 16 or 17 prints you get for free if you use this. So if you wanted a couple of Polaroid prints or you wanted to get some money off, use this code and you will get five big old credits taken off your bill. Let's go for this envelope here, shake it out. Ooh, this is like a good wad of Polaroids. Let's have a look. So we've got uh, me, my nan, and my uncle in New York with some dress up characters. Harrison being funky. We got my nan and my mum in Hawaii. Me and my mum in Bali. Some more of me and my nan in New York. Bali photos, New York photos. Oh, a little prom photo of me, Callie, and Amy. Super cute. So basically, I have so many photos, and I have like five of these. So like four other ones to open and I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them. This is crazy. I have so many photos. So I'm now gonna sort them all out into piles of um, New York, Hawaii, LA, Bali, prom and other. And we'll come back to the video once I've done that because I feel like it's gonna take a hell of a long time. Wish me luck. Also, my nails are uber sparkly and I really love that. Let's focus on them. 
so I finally managed to empty all of the packets and I've also sorted them into piles so we've got photos that I'm keeping for myself so like just general cute photos and then I've got my prom photos that's going to go in my prom album these ones are for Harrison to go in his little adventure album and this one I'm going to send up to my friend Meg who I haven't seen in absolutely ages and she lives in Norfolk um, so these are just some like cute photos to send up to her oh <laughs> Georgina's face just in the corner there very nice um these are ones that are going to go to georgina because she's a bae and we have loads of cute photos and she puts photos on all the same as me so i was like you know what um these are just for like assorted people that i need to give out some photos to and then i got my holiday photos i sorted them into bali and then america so this was new york hawaii la and then a big old wad of bali photos and i honestly don't know how i'm gonna fit all of these in an album but we will absolutely 100% give it a shot. I bought this album in Hobbycraft like almost pretty much a year ago now and I plan to make it into my like holiday scrapbook. I've got a bigger book for all my holidays so this one is going to be turned into my just my like general nice memories. So I'm gonna stick in all of these polaroids from prom and some of my i think i'll just start with prom today because it is a big pile i'll get through some of it and um, i'm going to be using these value craft adhesive photo corners again from hobby craft really really super duper good and they're really strong and they stay on really well um, i'm going to be fixing them this way and i'm going to be using tape and just looping it around on the back as well because i don't think i'm going to have enough of these because <clears throat> this is what i used for harrison's scrapbook as well so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have enough photo corners left but we shall see i'm gonna grab up my photo corners i'm just gonna take two because you don't really need four especially if you're gonna wiggle them in so i'm just gonna place that one where i think is the center and that is what it should look like it should come out really easily as well if you just want to give it on a little tug it can come out so you can switch it around with other photos as well and that's what i love about these photo corners thumbs up right and then I think on the next page I'm gonna pop this one like this in fact yeah I'm gonna pop that one there and I'm actually gonna secure this one with some sellotape if I can find the end because who can ever find the end of the cell tape? Right, I got it. There we go. So we've got cell tape, and I've got some scissors. I'm just gonna snip about an inch and a half, and then roll it back on itself. You know, you know how it goes. Roll it back on itself, so you create this like sticky tube. Also, if you have double-sided tape, that'd be really good. I just don't have that. So this is definitely going to stay where it is because of the annotations I'm going to pop around it. Not annotations, that sounds really Englishy. Labels, the drawings I'm going to pop around it are going to be super special. So that is going to be stuck down with sellotape so it can't move. I think I'm just going to keep on popping these in and I'll come back to you when I'm all done. So now all of my prom photos are finally stuck in. I'm just going to quickly flick through it because I'm pretty proud of this. I absolutely love it. So this one's a me and Harrison. Yeah, and I got me and all my girls. <laughs> Friends photos. And then this is Harrison and Aiden. Just to annoy them because they don't like photos. <laughs> and these ones are just of like me and Harrison and stuff like that. Like I'll store his jacket. <laughs> How cute. And then I've got some bits that were on the table. Unfortunately, I didn't get Harrison's, so it's just mine stuck there. And I did tape over... Harrison's is, like, destroyed and mine's really neat, which is really funny. But I did tape over these because they are quite fragile, so I didn't want to, like, stick them off on the back and then rip up. Um, I have photo booth photos done with Harrison. So they're stuck in there, ready to be noted on. Some more of me and Harrison. Some even more of me and Harrison taken by Grace because she's, like, number one paparazzi. And then we've got some of me and Meg and Abby. And then like a final one, which is just me and my dress, you know, working it. And then my prom ticket, because I forgot to put it in at the beginning, which I probably should have done. But it's okay now. This will look cute. 
so that is it i am feeling hella good at i am so happy with all of my polaroids i still have loads to go and loads to pop in albums but i am well and truly so chuffed la la live is such an amazing company be sure to use my code i'll pop it in the description box below as well as the link to la la Lab's website um and if you wanted to use it now it is pgg bwh5l so if you pop that one in at the checkout you'll get five uh five credits to use then and you get loads of stuff other than polaroids as well you've got postcards photo books and phone cases things like that i am all done here i absolutely love filming these videos especially with time lapses in them i am literally obsessed give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it go and check out my other video which will i would have linked in the video somewhere or if I haven't done that because I'm a lazy editor, go and check it out. It's on my channel. It'll be like my most liked one. So it'll be super easy to find. And go and check out how I pop these ones up, which I'm super duper proud of. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos like I do like this in the future or any of my vlogs or anything like that or just random videos that I just happen to do because I try and do it once a week kind of gone on the pooper recently because I've been doing exams and coursework and school's been really stressful. So I'm just filming as much as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next week in another lovely video. Adios.